A federal high court in Sokoto has remanded Al Haji Mukhtari Shagari, and some top officials of the PDP in police custody. The suspects were accused of misappropriating about N500 million. Their case has been adjourned to Thursday, May 24, by Justice Saleh Idrissa, the presiding judge. A former deputy governor of Sokoto, Al Haji Mukhtari Shagari, and four chieftains of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have been remanded by a federal high court sitting in the state which was presided over by Justice Saleh Idrissa on Tuesday, May 22, over alleged money laundering. The looted fund amounted to N500 million from former Petroleum Minister Dizani Allison Maduke's alleged loot, this day reports. The rest four suspects were Ibrahim Judato, the former State Commissioner for Information, the party's State Treasurer, Naz Irud Al Hattu, its Chairman Ibrahim Milgoma, and Abdallah Wali, a P2P governorship candidate in the 2015 election. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, prosecuting counsel, Johnson Aljogbe, said the it preferred the five-count charge against the accused persons bordering on money laundering and cash transaction outside regulated financial institution which contravened Money Laundering Prohibition Act 2011 and punishable under Section 16, 2, b, of the Act. Ajag Bain said that the offenses were committed in March 2015, and the money was handed over to the accused persons by one Abdul Rahman Ibrahim a day before the polls. He said, the Money Laundering Prohibition Act frowns on money laundering and financing of illegal activities. There is a threshold to transact a cash business and when you cross that threshold, it is an offense and there is punishment for that. This issue has to do with the N500 million Dizani money that was given out for elections. Ajag Bain further said that the charges came with the affidavits, list of witnesses, summary of evidences as well as proof of evidence. However, after the reading of the charges, the accused persons pleaded not guilty, denying the allegations. In reaction to this, Ajag Bain opposed their application for bail because the administrative bail ended when they were served with charge sheets. He pleaded with the court to adhere to due processes and sought for adjournment to commence full trial. Ibrahim Abdullahi, the counsel to Jadado and Al Hatu and Milgoma, applied for an interim bail for the accused persons pending the moving of formal bail application filed by the defendants. Abdullahi said that the defendants had been on EFCC administration bail since 2016, emphasizing that the accused were not likely to endanger any investigation. Ibrahim Idris and Ayalabgan Abdul Qadiri, counsel to Shagari and Wali respectively align themselves with Abdullahi's submission on granting the accused person's bail in continuation of the administrative bail granted earlier. Justice Idrissa, therefore, adjourned the case to Thursday, May 24, for hearing of bail application for the accused persons and ordered that they should be remanded in police custody in Sokoto.